The 2021 Agility and Excellence Capstone Unit was designed for students to work collaboratively with peers to integrate the discipline-specific knowledge acquired within their time at university. In doing so, we address practical business challenges requiring cross-disciplinary and cross-functional insights, knowledge and skills. Throughout our capstone unit, we focused on our skills learned from our marketing, human resource, economics, financial and accounting backgrounds to develop Breaking the Cycle, as well as to complete this unit as a step towards our future goals. My name is Monique and I'm currently in my final semester completing a Bachelor of Commerce majoring in Marketing Management. I would like to showcase my employability skills using my ePortfolio I created on Portfolium, which highlights my various achievements, skills, and work I have covered throughout my life at university. I began my university degree in 2017 with a Bachelor of Business Administration, and after a year of study, I realized this was not the path I wanted to take. In 2018, I changed my program to my current BCom course. I began developing my teamwork skills from a very young age, participating in multiple Armenian community activities, including scouting, sporting and youth groups. These experiences have allowed me to travel overseas to developing countries where I have been privileged enough to work and meet with children and adults who live less fortunate lives than we do here in Australia. These experiences have allowed me to develop a professional and personal judgment while focusing on creating better futures for other individuals. This skill has had a major impact on my time at university and has helped me tackle various individual and group projects, especially those surrounding sustainability. My marketing management knowledge has allowed me to work in multiple different group settings, further progressing my teamwork and communication skills. Each project proved to have its own difficulties, but through the use of the skills I have developed over the past three years, I was able to apply my understanding to anything that was thrown at me. Similar to the Capstone project, I have had previous units surrounding sustainability and organisational development. In semester two last year, I partook in a unit called Marketing Project, where my group and I were awarded with a finalist certificate for a project we worked on diligently. Within this project, I developed a marketing strategy for the Autism Community Network, which we formulated through the Blue Ocean Framework. Combining all my past knowledge to use in our capstone project, I was able to build an effective strategy for breaking the cycle needed through planning its SMART goals in a mission-driven way to help achieve its vision. Additionally, my group and I looked at both internal and external factors which would have an effect on our organisation's abilities. By developing a basic yet useful plan, we were able to understand this particular task, but also gain a physical in insight into what our roles outside of university will comprise of. The last four years have been a roller coaster of emotions, which ended up being quite rewarding for me. In general, university has been challenging, but also quite exciting and useful, as the reality of the rest of my life is fast approaching. Throughout my studies and the completion of my degree, I have faced many obstacles, which have allowed me to excel and become agile within the business world. Overall, my time at university has allowed me to develop skills, including teamwork, leadership, communication, critical thinking and problem solving, time management, and the ability to take constructive criticism. Thank you. Hello, my name is Isabella Milanovic, and I'm in my final year of completing a Bachelor of Commerce with a major in Human Resource Management and a minor in Marketing. My university journey began back in 2017, where I was a shy, nervous, and overwhelmed high school graduate. However, throughout my very first semester here at Macquarie University, these feelings quickly began to transpire once I met some great friends and began forming open and honest relationships with my tutors and lecturers, which allowed me to find my feet and begin to learn lifelong lessons, which have been instilled in students since day one. I quickly learnt the power of networking and how skills taught such as thinking critically, being able to present ideas effectively, having the confidence to speak in front of groups, having a growth mindset, problem solving, negotiating, and overall emotional intelligence agility have led to my employability. Currently, I'm employed as an onboarding specialist at my dream company, KPMG Australia. During my employment, I've been able to use my skills and content learnt at university, such as sustainability through my volunteer work, and also, how to ensure workplace health and safety through wellbeing initiatives. These skills mentioned before, plus many others, have set me up for my success and is truly owed to my experience here at Macquarie University. 
The agility and exercise in business capstone unit, which all commerce students undertake, has truly added to my skill set toolbox as the unit has furthered my collaborative working skills whilst being able to address business challenges. The unit MQBS 3010 has also positively advanced my thinking in an ethical and sustainable leadership sense and has also furthered my skills of being able to work as a team. Within our group report, Breaking the Cycle, I focus on the workings from a human resource management perspective whilst also having a sustainable lens on all activity described. Throughout the teachings, of my HRM units, I was able to effectively and critically explore the core responsibilities that HRM professionals must have over initiatives and projects, much like that of breaking the cycle. The overall project was very much like my university journey in the sense it was often challenging, informative, and forced me to think critically about internal and external barriers, which will further my employability skills for future ventures whilst reflecting and basing my decisions on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to ensure I am making positive impacts in the world and for my employees' organisation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mira and I'm an economics major. My journey through this capstone unit added value to my commerce degree by providing me with a platform through which I can apply my knowledge to a real life scenario. One of the main skills that I developed is understanding and working effectively with students from other majors. Our collaboration was challenging at first due to the different experiences, characteristics, strengths, weaknesses and methods we each brought to the team. Quickly, I came to the realization that we're dealing with what I envision as a spider web. This diagram visualizes my insight into the interdependence we each had on each other. As a result of this, combined with the agility exercise, communication was revealed as a skill we each needed to work on. Thus, this capstone unit has definitely improved my communication skills in that sense, but has also revealed to me the fact that I still need to invest time and effort into further enhancing those skills in the future. Another challenge that was brought to light by the short time frame of the agility exercise was responding to external influences that impacted my team's performance depicted through this Lego picture. Specifically, due to the current border restrictions, some of my team members are currently overseas. Working around the time differences and some language barriers was definitely challenging and a skill, and a skill that I need to continue working on in the future as it is vital in today's globalized world. Additionally, the project for this capstone unit taught me a valuable lesson about the little difference businesses can consciously make to the world. Through our focus on the UN SDG goals, I was able to take advantage of my economics background and identify the negative externality, in our case, air pollution, as a result of excessive usage of cars. Moreover, our focus on quality education was particularly important to me as it was inspired by my second degree Bachelor of Education. Throughout my university journey, my appreciation for education has only grown stronger. Education invites us to explore multiple areas to understand the world around us on a deeper level. With our project focusing on providing quality education for the disadvantaged, we could focus on the long-term echoes of its impact. Simply put, education brings about creativity, innovation and entrepreneurship, all necessary agents for growth. Overall, my journey through this capstone unit gave me the opportunity to use my knowledge of economics in a real life situation to make a real difference. I've come to understand that learning is a never ending journey and my journey will be continued beyond my time in university and throughout the rest of my career. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Shiro Yang. I would like to showcase my employability and skills through this e-portfolio. I studied Bachelor of Commerce majoring in accounting at Macquarie University. During the three years of studying, I have gained a lot of practical skills and completed several excellent teamwork on different topics. This is what we have done for accounting 3030. I critically analyzed the performance of a furniture company, applying my management accounting theory. And this is another project we have done. Um, it is also about sustainable development. For our project in MQBS units, 
we aimed to develop a program that addresses the UN SDGs. Our project is to um, provide Tesla, Tesla electric bags for children who live in the rural areas. I'm responsible in the financial accounting part for the project. This slide is a demonstration of the most important equation in accounting, which is also the basis of the balance sheet. In the report, I analyzed the influences of implementing the report on the on, on implementing the project on the balance sheet of Tesla, how it will affect the assets. Um, liabilities and shareholders' equity of the company. This part shows the projected balance sheet completed by me. Basically, implementing the project will build up reputation and motivate people to purchase a Tesla. Hence, it will increase the shareholders' equity of the company. In addition, I also record my business statistic knowledge. It is the techniques used for collecting, analyzing, and in interpreting data. It can be used to analyze both quantitative and qualitative data. It helps us to better understand different sources of variation by uncovering patterns and relationships of business data. For accounting, different charts and graphs are greatly, uh, are great, greatly useful in breaking down and comparing business data. For example, I used pie charts um, to display the percentage of liabilities and shareholder equity. Overall, the, this project and teamwork not only enhances my prof professional knowledge, but also improves my communication and collaboration skills. Because for accounting and finance students in our group, we need to share our data and help with each other to better complete our report. Hello everyone, my name is Hong Shui and I'm a finance student. I like to read books and listen to the global news, also to listen to some music in my rural time, because I think it's really good. And first I will talk about the ICC 3050 financial statement analysis. It's about the data analysis. I think it's very interesting in my study time. And second one is FN2050 investment. It's also about the that analyze. I like to use numbers to represent it because I, I think numbers can know the past things, the now and the future things. It's very interesting. Okay, let's go to the capstone project. I will talk about the finance part. First one is the budget. The budget for NAMP for profit is determined as the document for planning, which is used to identify the, and the cost that are located the resources for breaking cycle. The first budget component of the company is a packed revenue. First method is the discount method for revenue. The organization team uses this method to identify the amount that the company expects to obtain from the each sources. And second one is the cutoff method. The governing board uses this method to identify the estimated number of expected revenue for fundraising, which is then multiplied by the total probability account. And now I will talk about the expense budget is determined as the integral component of the breaking the cycle budgeting process. The method is being used to the company to predict and determine the expense endured by the breaking cycle of the private finance to its various project. And that's why the financing plan. You can see there are 12 sources to get the form. You can see see in the screen. Also, the last one is the financial risk. The first one is the fraud. Fraud is one of the significant financing risks which is associated with the activities of the non-profit organization. And the second one is investment. Investment is another financial risk for a non-profit organization which can result in the losses is for bad investment decisions make. Also, the third one is the mutual of the funds. So improved authorization of the funds can result in the investor withdrawing its funds from the charity, require repayment of the funds expected, and refuse to provide potential financing.
And the last one is the loss of the physical site. Destruction or death of the major site, which includes computer and office equipment, may be expensive for charity. Furthermore, a lack of the control over inventory or a site may result in the significant loss of physical site. Okay, I have finished my presentation. Thanks for your listening. My name is Ju Ping Liu. During the study of the capstone project at Macquarie University, my mind and horizon have been widened a lot. I believe accounting professions play an important role in creating future socially responsible business and sustainable economy on a more exciting path after the completion of the capstone project with wonderful team members. With the shared goals and clear allocation of work in this capstone project, our group reached close communication to help each other and act as one team. One of my responsibilities is evaluating the performance using the balanced scorecard framework. I regularly communicate with my group members to understand the meaning of each performance indicators and the target we would like to achieve. From the interaction, I realized that the individual would always have different capabilities, and the people management skill is important for leading a successful team. From the individual level one, I think I should post key transferable skills to ensure I'm on the right path to career progression. For example, it is important to display excellent communication skills in the relations with colleagues, employers, clients, and beyond. Moreover, the planning and researching skills can enable me to articulate needs and formulate a strategy to accomplish specific objectives. After receiving the peer reviewed feedback, I found I should be more active to provide my own ideas and become more confident to share openings with others. From this group work, I learned that group collaboration is not merely about accepting tasks and following the instruction of the group leader. It is collective efforts given by all members to share our knowledge and ideas to achieve the group goal. I will use such concepts in my future group work to contribute my ideas, share my experience, and be open to discuss well points. Learning from the experience, I think as a future accounting professional, I should be accountable for the public interest and develop more sustainable communities and cities. I will continue to improve my communication skills to organizational stakeholders to understand their perceived value and needs from organizations. I will be the strategic advocate promoting delivering a balanced interest to stakeholders at large extent rather than just maximizing the interests of shareholders. This is important to create sustainable and responsible leadership to embrace a future sustainable economy. Finally, I hope our Capstone Group project will be successful. Thank you for listening to our group presentation. Nelson, and I'm in my last semester of a Bachelor of Commerce majoring in accounting. I started at Macquarie University three years after completing my HSC, during which I worked in a corporate job and spent time traveling. These experiences allowed me to grow into a professional young adult, and when I was given the opportunity to do some accounting work, I found my passion and decided this is what I wanted to study. I have loved learning about the different aspects of accounting, such as tax, management accounting, financial accounting, and audit, and I like the way that they are all different, but also interconnected. Last year, I completed the tax unit, which was challenging and made me push myself. I love the problem solving aspect of the subject. In this unit, I received the top mark and was invited to join the Macquarie Business School Young Leaders Program. I have attended one of those sessions now and it is a great opportunity to develop my communication skills and network with other like-minded students. As I am in my last semester, I am completing this capstone unit. After receiving a mark lower than I was hoping for in my reflection, I realized that I would need to prioritize this subject and ensure that I was making the most from it. When the teams were released and we started discussing the different new end goals, I wanted to think of an interesting and different concept. I think Tesla is quite visionary and they will help lead the future of sustainability, so we decided that mixing sustainability with education would be a fun idea to work with. By making this suggestion, I felt that I was self-improving by speaking up as I was confident in my ideas. The agility exercise was an interesting task because although we had been in teams for weeks, it was the first marked task we had to do together. 
It brought out the leaders of the group and whilst I was happy to help and make an input, I didn't go over and above to lead the group project. This would be an area I could improve on as I don't always feel comfortable taking charge. Working on this final report, I was able to put into play the accounting that I've learned over the last few years. For this project, I chose to create a profit and loss projection. I enjoyed doing this because we had been given a required rate of return, so it felt like I was solving the problem of how to get to that figure whilst also being realistic. Whilst this project is fiction, I thought that writing the report helped me put my learnings into a real-world scenario, which I think will help me when I start in my career. I pushed myself past my comfort zone in this final report by taking charge and doing the final review and edit. This has helped my leadership skills and is teaching me to think differently. Through this course, I've learnt many skills, mainly being teamwork, communication and leadership, but mostly I have learned to think in a more sophisticated way, which I think will be a great help in my new graduate role. Overall, my experience in this course has been interesting and insightful, but also fun as it is a project that I am passionate about and have enjoyed making up along the way. In conclusion, we were tasked with the job of creating a profitable and sustainable project which would work towards one of the UN goals. Not only does Breaking the Cycle work towards quality education, but it also works towards sustainable cities and communities with the use of electric bikes and solar power charging stations. We have analysed Breaking the Cycle from a marketing, HR, accounting, economical and financial perspective and have found that the project can exceed the required rate of return. Once the five years is complete, Tesla can decide whether breaking the cycle should be expanded to assist children all over the world, or if in five years there is another UN goal which is more prominent, they can put the profit towards starting a new program. Overall, I think I can speak for my entire group and say that we have enjoyed creating breaking the cycle and working out how it will run and what is required. And we thank you for putting on this subject. Thank you for listening to our video and we hope you enjoy reading about breaking the cycle.